Yikes. Okay. I never tried to kill myself. I would never tried to kill myself, and I was not in love with a man. Emily. Was it George? No. Fraser? No. It couldn't have been. Toshiaki? Okay, Lavinia, I have never in my life been in love with a man. You know, you might be right. There was a book published a few years ago that caused such a scandal, it almost didn't get published. Because in this book, the author says that Emily Dickinson was a lesbian. A what? A lesbian. No. She was an American. <laughs> what? I'm talking about sex, baby. She was a sapphic, a homosexual, a woman who loved other women. Surely you must be familiar. You do go to Smith College. Emily, is that true? Uh, oh, my God. Who? Sorry, can we change the subject? I, why are we talking about her private life? Shouldn't we be focusing on her poems? Do you really think you can pull the two apart? I mean, where do you think poetry comes from other than passion, desire, the darkest depths? Personally, I think Dante had it right. To write poetry, you have to be willing to go all the way down to Okay, your energy is so intense, and this is Emily Dickinson saying that. Oh, wait. This morning we were stuck in the present, and now we're stuck in the future. Okay, but while we're here, I have to ask. What? Is it true what she said about you loving other women? It's so... It's always been Sue. I love Sue. I think I knew that. Jenna! <laughs> Jenna! Oh, no, he's drunk. <clears throat> um, can I... Can I have this dance? I don't think that's a good idea. I don't get it. I don't. D did I do something wrong? No. No, it's not. You. Zach, you're making this, like, a lot worse than it has I'm to be. I'm not talking to you, Henry. I, Jenna, I just wanted tonight to be perfect for us, okay? I, I love you. Uh, okay. I just want to get back with you, okay? So just, just, just tell me what to do, and I'll, and I'll do it. Just, Dude, stop. I'll do anything. Someone needs a water. No, wait, no, Jenna. You can talk to her later if she wants to talk to you. Patty. Walk with your legs. I, Come on. Come on. No. Sometimes she sucks less than you'd think. Are you okay? Zach's gonna be fine. And you're gonna be fine. It's not It's like not about Zach. None of this feels right. And I I think maybe I always knew it didn't. I don't know. Jenna, you can tell me what's going on. You wouldn't understand. I tell you all of my shit. And I have some seriously crazy fucked up shit. So. I'm gay. I like girls. Please say something. You just got so much cooler, Henry. Seriously, like so much cooler. That was both easier and harder than I thought it was going to be. And I haven't told anyone else. Thank you for telling me. Don't say anything. Of course not.
So, how did you two finally get together after all these years? Oh, uh, you know, I'd just been crazy about her forever, and then one day I picked up my battered old guitar and I sang her a song. Oh, how did it go? Oh, um, you don't want to hear it. Yes, I do. Well, I don't have my guitar here. Sing the song. Rosa, 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 Diaz, 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 Rosa, Diaz, Rosa, Diaz, Diaz, Rosa, Rosa, Diaz, Diaz. You are so cool. Sounds better with a guitar. Just put that away. Who was that in the picture? Just my mom. Kind of looked like your co-worker, Amy. She can name your friends. It's not weird. He had his arm around her, and she was showing off a ring. Wow, you got a really good look at that picture, huh? What's going on? Jake and Amy are engaged. <sighs> That's OK. What? You understand. Love is complicated. Wait, why would you be okay with that? Mejita, when you called his dinner, you were so nervous, we were worried you were going to tell us you were gay. So you would rather me be some dude's mistress than be in a loving relationship with a woman? Well, Jake and I aren't dating. But guess what? Your worst fears are real. I'm not straight, I'm bisexual. And I don't care what you think about it. Screw this, I'm out of here. Good? Fiona? Where did you get that? I hid it before rehab. I did my techniques. I don't want to drink it, Mom. I really don't. It's okay. You didn't do it. Where's Holly J? She went to bed. Is everything okay? Yeah, she's great. She's been so brave through all her health issues, but I worry about her. Well, you're her friend. Of course you're concerned. Well, it's more than that. I love her, Mom, more than anyone in the world. And she's sleeping in my room. Oh, honey. Mom, I'm in love with her. And she's a girl. Oh. Oh, okay. I've never felt like this about a guy. Any guy. Ever. And I know now that I never will. Are you shocked? Are you disappointed in me? Oh, Fiona Celestine Arabella Coyne. All I want for you is to be happy, no matter who you love. Why do I have to love her? I, I can't go anywhere. Oh, sweetheart, love is never easy. I just don't want to go back to how I was. Angry, lonely, drinky. This week, I learned that you were stronger than you or I ever gave you credit for. Just because I sat in a court case? You can handle this. I think you've mastered the art of silent tears, but I saw you crying during that movie, Cheryl. I never cry in movies. Real life's tragic enough. But when Simon's mom said he used to be such a carefree kid growing up, and then at a certain point, he stopped being that happy kid because he was hiding his secret. Just Cheryl. Everyone thinks I'm this loveless monster. But it isn't true. I loved someone who loved me. My mother destroyed it. You mean your brother Jason? I heard how close you guys were. No, not JJ. Her name was Heather. best friend in junior high. She used to sleep over every weekend. <laughs> Until one night, my mother caught us in the same bed. She said I was deviant. Cheryl, I am so sorry. But you have to know your mother's wrong. 
You're not loveless. You're not deviant, okay? You're sensational. What would your family do if you weren't marrying Herschel? You don't understand, Maggie. You're out of your depth. Our kiss threw me for a loop. But I see now that it may have caused you pain, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for harassing you about Herschel and... I'm orthodox. I live with a whole host of expectations. This isn't about just her kiss. No, I understand that. No, you don't. Once I'm married, when my husband wants to have sex with me, he throws his yarmulke on the bed. That's dark. I had a huge crush on Nishama when we were teenagers. <laughs> so when I caught her kissing a girl, I ran and I told Nishama's mother. Not just because Leviticus condemns homosexuality, but out of. You know what it means that her family is at Shiva for her. I as much as killed someone, Maggie. So don't you dare think this has anything to do with you, okay? This is my life, it's my burden, and you will never understand. Do you get that? Nisham is happy. Do you get that? once today. <sighs> Where are you skulking off to? Uh, please tell me you're not running away. Oh, you've got it in one. <sighs> Sophie, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to tough it out. Those people are gonna think it's true. It is true. Okay? It's true. I'm in love with Shan, and if I stick around here any longer, Rosie, people are gonna try and split us up. Especially my mum. Please, Sophie. Please. Sophie. So, Sophie, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> because it was easier not to. Because I never found the right moment. Because I was breaking it. I don't know. How long have you got? <laughs> sister. It's the type of news that everyone goes all weird on you, innit? Remember? Justin Bieber? Sophie, I would never. I would never have said that if I'd have known. Because <laughs> apparently I need a PR strategy. Because I've been called the worst thing in the world. <gasps> Sophie! <laughs> I'm a stupid cow and you know that. <laughs> you know... <sighs> Sophie, I wish I was a candidate you feel you could talk to. Yeah, who you are. 
now. <laughs> I am. Um... It's all I've got. I'm not to worry, okay? I'll be fine. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs> be careful, yeah? <laughs> Why did you think I would take Maya to the dance? What? You thought I wanted her as my date. Why? A sent me a picture of you and Maya kissing. So can I just ask? I mean, you took Toby to the dance, but then you took that picture with Maya. I think I know what I want. But if I say yes to Maya, everything would change. You know it would. Yeah, it would. You wouldn't have to pretend that you're someone you're not. But what if I'm wrong? What if I'm not that person? Emily, you're not signing a contract. You were Emily dating Ben, and now you're Emily dating Maya. We love Emily. No one cares who you're with. Really? Have you met my parents? Mr. and Mrs. Military and their perfect daughter. 